Welcome back, beautiful creatures. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here today. I'm Cordelia, and today's video is going to be all about the Urban Decay Vice Lip Blonde Glossy Longwear Liquid Lipsticks. Yes, this has a very these, these products have a very long name, but that's okay. I think that they're awesome. So in case you're new to makeup or new to Urban Decay, Urban Decay is a 100% cruelty-free beauty brand. They are owned by L'Oreal. And they have reformulated almost all of the products that they make to be vegan, which is pretty cool. So these lipsticks that I'm talking about are 100% vegan. Honestly, I'm just really excited to have an entire new product line from Urban Decay that I am in love with that I can talk to you about. Because back in the day when I first got into Urban Decay, I was completely in love with their 24-7 eyeliners, their 24-7 lip liners, their lipsticks, their eyeshadows, everything. Their afterglow blushes, those, those were so good. Um, they've since, you know, reformulated and done an, gone a couple different directions. So it's been a while since I have been fully into any of their product line, but I am absolutely fully into these liquid lipsticks. So it actually took me a while before I was able to give these liquid lipsticks a chance. I received No Restraints, which is a purple NPR. And it's one of those like warm colors that I don't even really register as a purple. I register it as a magenta, so it's a pink with like purple undertone to my eyes. It's a pretty color, but not what I think of when I think of purple. <laughs> so I was kind of like, eh, I'm just kind of, you know, meh about this color. I wasn't really into it. So it took me buying a color that I was really into to really love this formula. The color that I ended up purchasing that really got me into this formula was OG Backtalk. So OG Backtalk was, back in the day, my go-to My Lips But Better color. Like this color was perfect for me if I wanted a like no makeup type look or if I'm doing a like very, very strong smoky eye, this was the perfect look for me. So when I bought this and saw that, even when I swatched it on my hand, I was like, oh, it looks like it's gonna be too pink. But when I put it on, it is perfect when worn. So I absolutely love this color. And this is what reignited, or this is what reignited my love with Urban Decay and helped me fall in love with this entire product line. So I quickly bought up the other colors that I thought would be flattering on my skin tone. I do have a little demo of me applying all of the colors, but I am gonna go ahead and swatch them for you as well, just so you can see. We have Safe Word which is the color that I'm wearing today. This They describe this as like a sandy nude and it really is kind of my sort of perfect warm neutral because I struggle with wearing a lot of warm colors. This color is formulated in such a way that I find it flattering on my skin tone. I'm gonna swatch OG Back Talk next. There we have OG Back Talk. Next we have Shock Value. This is like a neon pink. We're gonna do No Restraints, the purple next. Then we have Unbreakable. Unbreakable is a power red. It's a neutral red. I actually wish this one was um, brighter and cooler. This one is raw footage. And it's a beautiful dark wine red. And then the last color that I bought will come as a surprise. It's Indie Sleaze. It's the black shade. So these are the colors that I've purchased and the PR sample that I received, which is the purple. So let me tell you a little bit more about the product now that you've seen my little quick arm swatches. The Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear uh, Liquid Lipsticks come in 19 different shades and they are $27 each. You can find them online at places like Urban Decay's website, Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, Macy's, etc. All right, let's jump into the little demo portion where I demo each of these colors on my lips for you. The first color we have is OG Back Talk. OG Back Talk is described as a mauve nude pink and I originally thought this color didn't look like the original and it doesn't to me when I swatch it on my hand, but when I put it on my face and wear it, it looks like the original, it looks perfect. It is a my lips but better shade for me. So I love this color. Next we have Safe Word. Safe Word is a sandy nude. This is probably the warmest sort of light nude lip color that I can wear because a lot of times these colors just don't look right with my undertones. I am very fair and cool, uh, I have a cool undertone. And so a lot of times uh, things that are warmer, the warm gets amped up too much and it just clashes with my skin.
No restraints. This is a bold, warm purple. To me, this is really a like warm magenta hued color with like some purple undertones. I don't really feel like it's that bold, but again, people have different expectations and stuff when they use words like bold and purple together. I have different expectations than your average person. <laughs> Next we have Shock Value, which is a neon pink. It's a very pretty uh, bright neon pink. This is Unbreakable, it's a power red. I wish this was shinier, more cool toned and brighter. Um, it just didn't seem to have as much shine as the other colors, which was surprising and disappointing because I do love a good red. This is raw footage, which is a Merlot red. I love deep red hues like this. I think that they are stunning, like a deep burgundy color. And then last but not least, we have Indie Sleaze. This is a pure black, and I personally find it takes me two layers to get the color to the opacity that I want unless I line and fill in my lips with a lip pencil, but I'm okay with that because I feel like the black being slightly sheer makes it easier for doing blends and ombre lips. So if you're somebody who likes to do that, I think that you will enjoy this black for that purpose. I know I certainly have enjoyed it. Um, I love layering multi-chromes on top of it or just wearing it on its own. It's a very comfortable, long-wearing black. Okay, now that you've seen me demoing all of the lip colors on my lips, you can see what they look like and see their pigmentation, which I personally find very impressive. I wanna tell you how to apply these lipsticks because if you just get the lipstick like this, you might not know. So you gotta shake it for at least five seconds. Shaking it will activate the color and the formula and cause it to be long wearing. So after you shake it for five seconds, swipe it on your lips, and then you're supposed to leave your mouth open for four minutes to let it dry. So what I do is I set a timer on my phone for four minutes, and once that's done, I know I'm good to go. So let's talk about the claims that Urban Decay makes with this formula. Number one, they make the claim that it is vegan. Yes, it is vegan. At least when I can see, when I look at the ingredients, they look like they're all vegan ingredients. I do not see anything that looks like it's an animal product hidden within the ingredients. Number two, it claims to get up to 16 hours of wear. And I would say that has absolutely been my experience. I've easily gotten 12 hours of wear every single time that I have worn these. Um, I have not particularly tested it past the 12 to 14 hour mark because usually at the end of that mark, I'm ready to take my makeup off and go to bed. So. Yes, I can claim that it at least wears up to 12 hours, if not up to 16, in my experience. The third claim is that it's highly pigmented, and I feel like it's very easy to see when I was putting the putting the lipsticks on my lips and even on my arm that it is a very pigmented product. There's a lot of pigment and color in it. The fourth claim is that it's transfer resistant and food and drink resistant. And again, I find this to be true. Um, when I, I drink a Camel water bottle all day, because I'm trying to drink, you know, at least, you know, I guess I do at least 
I think 65 ounces of water a day, if not more. So I drink, I basically have a 25 ounce bottle that I fill up at least twice. And then I also do a salt drink um, that's also 25 ounces. So I'm constantly drinking water. And you'll see a little bit of tiny residual um, lipstick on like the, the uh, straw from my Camelback, but I can easily wipe that off. And it's not like a ton of product. It's not like all coming off on my skin or on the straw because of it, just like a little bit. And that's typically what I see happens. Like if I, you know, kiss the back of my hand and I'm wearing these lipsticks, I'll see a little bit of product residue come off, but not a lot. Um, so it doesn't come off, you know, when I'm drinking, it doesn't come off when I'm eating. Even if I've gone out to dinner, um, like a couple weekends ago, I went out and I was wearing indie sleaze and I had tapped another, uh, like eyeshadow on top of it to give it like a multi-chrome effect. And that lasted through my entire dinner and we were eating pretty greasy food, like greasy for us, um, food. Cause we went to a, like a, it was like a Japanese steakhouse where they like cook your food in front of you. So there was like lots of butter and stuff used in the food. My lipstick didn't budge it lasted all night. It still looked great. So I felt really good about that. So in my experience, the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear Liquid Lipstick does, wear, does live up to all of its claims. Number one, how long does this lipstick last? And as I mentioned, in my experience, this lipstick lasts at least 12 hours. I don't have to babysit this lipstick like a traditional bullet lipstick. I just basically kind of put it on and maybe a couple hours later I'll check to see. Sometimes I'll have some wear at the um, inner rim of my mouth. That's typically where my lipstick will wear off if they're going to wear off at all. So I'll have a little bit of wear there that I might need to touch up, but it's really nothing compared to a classic lipstick. It's also supposed to be makeout proof. Um, I will say that it gives minimal transfer to Dave when I kiss him with it. So it's not terrible. It's not like a traditional lipstick where you're gonna get it all over the place, but you're still gonna see a little bit here and there. Another question that people had was, do these products dry out your lips? And in my experience, I can say, no, no, they do not. Um, some of the original liquid lipsticks formulas would actually cause my lips to peel off in strips because they would dry me out so badly. They were extremely painful. This is nothing like that. My lips are not dry afterwards. They're not cracked. Um, they're not bleeding. I'm not having them peel off. They actually feel good. So I have no problem with like this formula and, 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 uh, how it does, how it, how it performs on my lips because it does not dry out my lips at all. Another question people add is how is the pigmentation? And Again, in my experience, it is excellent pigmentation. The only product that I needed two layers on was the black indie sleeves, and I kind of feel like that one must be on purpose because it, that makes it easier to ombre and layer with it, with it being slightly, that color being slightly more sheer. And to be honest, I haven't worn a glossy lip um, with any regularity for years because gloss will get all over my teeth and in my hair, especially with long hair. And like glossier lips, I typically have avoided because I don't know what I do with my mouth, but I end up with I end up with product all over my teeth or on my chin, and it just didn't look good. So I have avoided glossy lips for the most part for years and years. So I'm kind of finding this change refreshing that I'm able to enjoy a glossy lip without getting it all over my face. Uh, another question is: Is it transfer proof? And like I said, I would say it is transfer resistant. It is not transfer proof because I get minimal transfer when I do touch something else, but there's still a little bit of transfer there. And it's not every time, like I said, because it doesn't get, uh, it doesn't get like the straw of my camelback all gross. It's just, I will notice there's a little bit on there and I'll have to go clean it off. One of the other questions was how do I remove this lipstick? And I feel like these are very easy products to remove. The way I remove it is I use a damp makeup eraser and then an oil cleanser, you know? So if you are not allergic to coconut oil, you can use coconut oil, but there's a lot of different oil cleansers out there that you can use to remove a long wearing liquid lipstick product like this. One of the other questions I saw people had was, can you layer these lipsticks with other products? And the answer is yes. So I have used them with lip pencils, obviously underneath. I typically use KVD lip pencils or the Buxom lip pencils, the power lines for underneath my lipstick. And then I also like to layer multi-chromes on top. So I've been putting Carla Cosmetics, Aroma Lee, Silk Naturals, etc., on top of these lipsticks to create more multi-dimensional lip looks. So you can absolutely use more than just lipstick on your lips. I do want to point out that I find this liquid lipstick formula to be the easiest to apply of any lip, lip, liquid lipstick formula that I have tried because of the fact that I can actually apply these and not have to use a lip liner unless I want to. And typically I will not apply any lipstick without a lip liner because I end up feeling like it looks like a five-year-old put on my makeup. 
but I find that the way the this formula works and the viscosity, it's not hard for me to control it to apply it without a lip pencil. I still prefer a lip pencil, that's 100% sure, but I like the fact that I feel like the way this uh, product moves, I can use it without one if I need to. So I think a top question everybody would want to know is, is it worth the $27 price point? And to me, the answer is yes. So I bought um, about half the colors that I bought when they were not on sale, and then the other ones I bought on sale using, um, I used a bunch of my Ulta points. <laughs> So for me, I felt like they were worthwhile to buy while they were full price at $27, but I was happy to pick up some more shades when I could pick them up on sale. So yes, I'd say that they're absolutely worth purchasing at $27, but they're also worth purchasing if you can pick them up on sale. Um, I think that the formula, the pigmentation, the ease of use, really, that speaks to why I'm willing to pay full price for them. So who are these Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear Lips, Liquid Lipsticks for? I am glad you asked. In my opinion, if you're somebody like me and you have chronically dry lips and you're looking for a long wearing liquid lipstick product that you're not going to have to really babysit, that's just going to kind of do what it claims to do, you're the person who's going to want this lipstick because I think that it is fantastic. I love that it is comfortable to wear. It is gorgeous. It's hydrating. My lips do not feel like dry and tight and like they're going to peel off. Um, the color just lasts and lasts and lasts and it looks good. It's going to look good six hours from now. I love the fact that I get at least 12 hours of wear. I can't say that about every every lipstick that I've worn, but I can about this one. I genuinely feel like this is a liquid lipstick for people who like glossy lips, long wearing lips, and comfortable lipsticks. Now, I personally would love to see a super, super bright neon red, similar to Melt Bellastona liquid lipstick or Kalidos Fiamma like something super bright like that. I would love to see that in this formula because this formula is so great. I would also love to see a more like neutral toned purple, like one that has a lot more blue in it as opposed to, you know, the one that they have. And I always hear for like a deep blackened teal blue. Like those would be some other colors that I would like to see in this formula. Now, if you've tried the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear Liquid Lipstick Formula, what are your thoughts? Please let us know in the comments below. If you have any tips and tricks that you want to share, let us know because I mean, I, I always love reading your comments and seeing what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching my Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear Liquid Lipstick video. Um, wow, the full name of this product just, it's so hard, it's a mouthful. <laughs> But I appreciate you so much for spending time with me and for watching my review and hearing me gush about a makeup product that I'm genuinely excited about. Like, I'm so freaking happy to have a product from Urban Decay that I am obsessed with and in love with again. It is, it is such a nice feeling. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Oh, and in case you don't know, I've been nominated as somebody who is fabulous over 40. And if you think that I am fabulous over 40, make sure you vote for me daily. I will put a link in the description box for you to check it out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.